Hello and welcome to Glitch Toots. Today you'll be learning how to make your own shakes for your edits. Before we begin, I'd like to invite you to the channel's Discord server. Link in the description. Alright, the first thing to do is to make the transition. Let me speed through this as I've already made the tutorial on this. Link will be in the description. I'll also make a fake zoom. Link will be in the description as well. We'll be making the position chic. These can be vertical, horizontal or diagonal. The vertical and the horizontal shakes are very similar, so I'll be taking you through one of them. Let's work with the vertical shake. I'll show you two methods of approach regarding the shake. The first one is where you intend to have the shake happen once. Here you'll have a keyframe at zero in the beginning, followed by a change in value in the Y position, then another keyframe, which is zero. Select them and easy ease. Then add rotation to the shake starting from 0 to the value you'd use, then back to 0. Let the keyframes be staggered. If you want to speed up the pace of the shake, select the keyframe then hold Alt, then drag the last or the first keyframe. Adjust it till it looks good. Copy and paste the keyframes to the other clips and adjust if necessary. Let's look at the second approach for this type of shake. I'd like you to imagine a dangling stopwatch swinging side to side. The first swing is usually the strongest and as it proceeds, the strength reduces until it finally stops. This is similar to what we'll be doing. Here is a representation of how the movement will go. The first keyframe will have the largest value, either up or down. Then make sure the path of the shake follows the representation I showed above for a smooth shake. Next, we'll be making the diagonal shake. The path of motion should be circular like this in order for it to be smooth. There are two ways to approach this type of shake. The first one is making the shake before separating the dimensions, ensuring the path is similar to the one we made in the vertical shake. But now, it's tilted like this. Then separate the dimension and easy ease the keyframes. Select the Y keyframes and move them forward in order for them to be staggered from the X keyframes until the path is circular. Add a rotation shake. Do this by alternating between a positive and a negative value. Stagger the keyframe then easy ease. Select all the keyframes, hold Alt and stretch the keyframes to adjust it until it looks good. This method is a simple way to go about it but it doesn't give you much freedom. A more flexible way is by separating the dimensions, then making an X shake. Then you start keyframing the Y position, one frame after the X position, making sure the graph still spirals. Select the keyframe then easy ease to smoothen it, then stagger to make the path circular. Make a rotation shake as mentioned earlier. Now 
do the same for the other clip. You can make the shake in any direction you'd like in order for it to suit what you're trying to show. That brings us to the end of the tutorial. I hope it helped you out. Don't forget to join the Discord server, like the video and give me a sub to show your support. That being said, I will see you guys in the next video.